All right, hey collective, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Remember that this is a general message, so please only chew the meat and spit out the bones, i.e. take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Let's see what the overall energy for this reading is. You are gonna hear sound in the background as well. And hopefully I don't end up getting interrupted, but let's see. So there's a family that was trying to block a pathway for you, some type of new phase or new beginning. Or there could be a lot of talk about you in a family room, like a lot of family that are talking about you. They could be in despair right now because of your job. Maybe they're trying to prevent. Yeah, that's what the pathway was. They're trying to prevent you from, I'm hearing live your life purpose. I'm hearing from you building stability for yourself, trying to create issues for you at your job. So that way that, that way you couldn't be able to be stable. Um, and it's like they're in despair also possibly because of a job choice that you made, maybe something with your career. Someone could try to send you like a message of concern, like someone from afar, one of these family members, because like they're not happy with the choice that you made for your life or this job that you have. Like, I don't know if you guys are like in the limelight in some way, because I'm seeing something like that, but it's like this family member knows about it and they're not happy about it or this family in general. And there's just a lot of talk. Like they're definitely aware of your job. They don't like that it's creating change for you too because they're hoping that they can keep you stuck. But it's like this job opened up a new pathway for you for, for you to be able to create or generate income for yourself. So that way you can be able to be self-sufficient and reliant on yourself and also be financially secure and financially stable. And it's like they're seeing this from afar and they don't like it. Yeah, because they were hoping that you would end up being in poverty, but that didn't happen. Or they're hoping that they could put you in this energy of being impoverished or even keep you in the headspace to feel like you can't actually attract more money or stability for yourself. It's like they wanted to keep you stuck in the past where you feel less than, where you feel insecure, where you feel like you can't actually do the things that you amount your time and effort and energy into. It's like they wanted you to stay the same. They didn't want a change to come, but it's like this job may have brought a huge change for you even like internally like mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like you went through a level up is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and like they're mad because like you're, you're stable. You're stable, you're lucky, you have abundance on its way to you. Like, you, like you're someone who's just always abundant or you always have. You're never without. And like they're bothered by this because now they're like, damn, they have their own money and stuff now. Now I can't manipulate them anymore. Now I can't spread lies about them anymore saying that they were using me for money and that they're not a good child or a good family member and that, you know, there's something mentally wrong with them. Like now I can't spread lies about them anymore. Now the truth is coming out. Yeah, because this whole thing with this change, like this family did not like that this change happened or this family member, like they're so pissed that this change happened and that this whole situation closed out. Like this cycle that you were in with this person where you had to rely on them for things. You don't have to do that anymore. And they are pissed. They are fucking pissed. They're like, damn it. Why didn't it work? They weren't meant to get money. They weren't meant to be st stable. They were meant to be impoverished because I was impoverished. They were meant to stay there. It's like they were trying to project their life and what they went through growing up onto you because they thought that you didn't deserve to have a life of fulfillment and stability and security. Like security in yourself, security financially, security in what it is that you're doing. This has been a long fucking journey, but it came to a close.
Wow, and there's like a ex-lover of yours. Um, trigger warning, some of you guys could have lost this child that you have with this person. But for others, I'm seeing something where it's like this ex-lover of yours or ex-partner of yours could be trying to cause issues for you like with a child. Like someone could have tried to take the child away or someone was thinking if they took the child away, they'd be able to get money for this. This main, yeah, this ex that you dealt with. But things are not going their favor. They lost that child. They also, like, they're losing money right now as well because they're making the choice to try to keep the child away from you. And they're going through judgment right now. Some of you guys could actually be having some court proceedings right now as well. Yeah, because this isn't, it didn't go the way they expected. And now they're being exposed for a false person. And it's like, even though this person wants to complain about this whole situation because, like, their lies caught up to them, it's like they can't. You know that this person doesn't actually care about you or your children. You know that they're full of crap. Yeah, and it's like a new pathway opened up for you and you're able to get away from this person in this whole situation as well. Wow. Okay, let's get some more information on uh, this family member or this family of yours that's trying to that's been trying to cause issues for y'all. Hold on, let me get the Zodiac out. Hold on. I'm seeing ego and I'm seeing something with identity. So I'm getting like Leo energy. But let's see. Whoa. Okay, so we got Scorpio. Yeah, y'all went through a major transformation. <coughs> a major and like you went through a massive like rebirth like you stuck this whole thing through and like you stayed positive about it you stayed optimistic you started you kept like working at your job or like whatever this occupation is and um it's like you're able to put an end to these people but also like these people kept trying to use their money to keep you stuck they didn't want you to be financially secure because like I said, they wanted you to be dependent on them so that way you can be able to have any of your own money so that way you can be able to create stability for yourself. That way they can try to have control over you in some form or this person will even trying to control your money as well. And I, mm, there's definitely some magic that was done here as well behind the scenes. I'm seeing really strongly and I'm also seeing like a, a distorted mature woman This could be a grandmother, an auntie, a mother, or a mother figure. Even for some of y'all, like a mother-in-law. Yeah, there's definitely community that was involved in this whole thing as well. But you're getting your wishes. You're, you're getting your wishes. And also this money that you have coming to you, this is earned. Okay, this is earned wealth. And also wealth doesn't always have to be a thing where it's like you have like a million dollars in the bank. Wealth is just an energy. I just... I just want to mention that it's the energy, but because the fact that you have that energy and you're in that frequency, that means you're able to attract that to you because you are that energy because you magnetize it to you because you never feel like you're actually without, you're never in lack. Yeah, there's definitely something about family here and home, which we already mentioned. And like I said, again, this could be a mother. Um, this mother could be, okay, so the signs here, this mother or this mother figure or this female, whoever this distorted mature woman could be. Um, could be like a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Virgo. You guys probably had to spend a huge period of time like in, in solitude by yourself, self-reflecting, taking time to heal, searching for the truth. And it's like through that whole period of you being alone, that's when you went through this transformation. And it's like, while you're going through this transformation, I see that you were still focusing on like this career. I, like They were hoping that they could stop you from like, pursuing it or to give up like someone wanted you to be in doubt of your skills and your abilities and feel that you can't actually create a difference or make a shift in your life or a change they're hoping that you wouldn't be able to put it into this and hoping that you would still be reliant on them forever and they always kept lying and saying that you weren't shit and that you didn't have anything really going for you and that you were lazy like they're saying and spreading all kinds of lies about you 
trying to say that you don't really work that hard. And it's not that you don't work that hard. It's just you weren't meant to have a traditional job or the job that is that you're meant to have or the life that you're meant to have is what you want, not what this f female wants, like this distorted feminine. Like this, that's what this person doesn't get. Like you're meant to live your life the way that you want to. It's not on how they think you should live life. No, if you if they were meant to live your life, then they would live it. This is yours. Taurus, Leo, yeah, this mom or this female, I'm just going to say distorted feminine because I keep getting confused. This distorted feminine was jealous of your beauty and also the fact that you love yourself. Like they're mad because you learned to love yourself. And now that they, now that you love yourself, they cannot manipulate you anymore. And they're mad because like I said, you're receiving money, you're receiving blessings, you're abundant, you're wealthy, you're stable, you're happy where you're at, you're content. Like, you're blessed. And it's like this feminine doesn't like this. And there's a lot of talk about this right now, too. But also they're needing to change their perception. But also with this technology, they could even possibly be, like, stalking you. Like I said, like, for those of you, like, it's, I'm, okay. So I'm seeing a few different things here. Some of you guys, you're doing, like, a traditional career, okay? Others of you guys, it's more like you're an entrepreneur. Some of you guys are online. Some of you guys are offline. That's what I'm seeing. There's a split between that. But regardless, if you're like online, you're a content creator, they're saying that they're watching you and your business and they're watching you build it from the ground up. There could even be some siblings that's involved in this talk in the family room too that's talking about you guys are talking shit with this distorted feminine. You even got people from like when you were an adolescent who were watching you and watching like you stepping into your power and watching your come up. Your family could possibly be be mixed as well. You could speak another language. Like English may not be your first language or it may not be your family's first language. But yeah, it's like they're looking because they're curious about like how you're doing what you're doing. And again, they're pissed that they that you don't have to rely on them for anything anymore. Because like they don't have that power anymore. Ooh, this fan, this distorted feminine could have a secret lover. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but they're not protected from this because they created this. Yeah, so anything that they try to do and throw in your direction, like, I'm hearing that that shit's been returned back to Cinder. And when this happened, also, they got exposed. They got exposed for having a secret love affair. Yikes, I'm hearing somebody's getting a divorce. But they're trying to act like they're unfazed. Yeah, this person's not even dealing with any money issues, but it's like they wanted you to experience that. But yeah, y'all are hustling. Y'all are really working hard at whatever this career is, this job of yours, like you are getting that money. I'm hearing you are making it rain. Like you're focused. You're like, I need to get the stability. You're also getting the F away from this person as well. Like say if it's a thing where like you end up seeing them somewhere when you go somewhere. If, they, if you see them, you're going to run the other direction because you're like, nope, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in uh, entertaining your buffoonery today. This person was trying to force their way in your life on how you should or shouldn't do things like what I was saying earlier but they're unsuccessful because they can't get their way anymore. But like I said, I keep, I, I'm not trying to read the same thing. It's just, it keeps popping up. Like they are so pissed at this. Yeah, and they're haunted. They're having flashbacks and they're mad that they couldn't get their way. They're going through bad karma right now as well. This person was trying to uh, run from karma most of their life especially because of the things that they were doing to you too and i'm laughing is like i'm literally here like you can't outrun karma like karma knows your address so if you could if you try to sit there and do things to prevent it it's not gonna you're still gonna get karma it's gonna catch up to you but when you least expect it it's not on the t your time and you're like okay so it's gonna hit any day now no that's the whole point you're meant to be paranoid 
All right, sorry you guys, I got interrupted and this did come out in reverse, but yeah, this is tying into what I was talking about earlier where it's like you got people that you know in like an adolescence that are like watching you or stalking you. Um, these are people who you turn that you learned that they were karmic friends and a lot of these people were in secret competition with you and they were secretly en enemies of yours. So it's like now these people could be trying to kiss your ass right now and they're trying to hide the fact that they are they have bruised egos they're not happy about the fact that you cut them out of your life as well like it's just you have a lot of this energy from people in the past that are just holding on to you and it's like they don't want you to change they don't want you to adapt to that change they don't want you to transform but it's like your life is transforming and changing anyway regardless of whatever it is that they think these people can be end up feeling like they're in over their head as well um overthinking stressed out over analyzing things um this family member of yours is intimidated by you guys as well and they're really bothered by you because like I said they're bothered that you were able to get out of their clutch they can't cock block you anymore also your light irritates their demons there could even be some issues here with um different religious beliefs as well or spiritual beliefs and I'm seeing there's like some type of judgment here and I'm not seeing like with the mom it's more so like possibly one of these people that you were friends with maybe that's something that you guys fought about yeah um you let go of whatever this was with people trying to like block you or get you to doubt yourself or trying to be in petty like a petty war with you you just you don't care for it these people could have like wanted to mooch off you and like wanted you to give them money as well these people were wolves in sheep's clothing um they wanted to make it seem as if you were actually like that when you're not and some of these people may like still have feelings for you as well or they're trying to, like, some of them are trying to move on, but for the most part, like, a lot of these people were just toxic, and they just weren't good for you to be around. Someone could be making fake accounts. This could be, like, this feminine. They try to spy on you. Yeah, because they are bothered. Y'all aren't talking to them. And they're, like, trying to figure out, like, where you are or try to get in contact with you or see what you got going on. Like, they know that you're doing better now financially, like I said earlier, and like you're stable, but it's like they're not happy about this. They're fucking pissed. Yeah, this person, like, may, they may want to watch you and stuff like that because they copied off of you your whole life. Like, I'm seeing that, like, they steal a lot of your ideas and copy your work, and then they try to take credit for it and try to say that they came up with the idea or they did that first and make it seem as if you're copying them. This is giving, like, that vibe of, like, a parent, like, copying the way that you look or dress and stuff like that. Um, they can't ignore this. This person really wants to feed off of you as well because they're energy vampire. And they are so nosy and always up in your business trying to figure out what's going on. This energy feels so freaking invasive. Like, you probably felt, like, terrorized with this person growing up and whatnot too because they didn't want you to have privacy and you felt really anxious when it came to them because you're, like, you didn't feel safe. And you knew that they were crossing boundaries. That's why you got pissed a lot of times. It's because the fact is that your boundaries are being crossed. Anytime you're pissed like that, it's because boundaries are crossed. It's not just because of hurt feelings. It could also be because they did something to you that you were not okay with. But then they could have like gaslit you or not took accountability or try to put it back on you. Like if a lot of people have different ways to avoid conflict or arguments. And this could have been a way that this person did this. They got to know. They got to get the insights. because They got to know what's going on in your life. And it's like also so they can continue trying to compete with you as well. Like this person won't give up on competing with you. Even though. Mm. Yeah, and because of that, that your light irritates the, their demons. They do not want you to step in your power. Like they're so pissed. They want power over you so bad. This person was like clout hungry, making stuff up about you, always trying to create drama. This person is also holding a grudge, talking a lot of shit because of the fact that y'all rejected them. You're not talking to them anymore. Any evidence that they're trying to get on you, like proof of trying to prove their delusion, that is not happening. People are realizing that you're not the one that's not shit. It's actually them. They're upset and crying over you, but this is like an angry cry. 
They can't cyber bully you. They can't dig for dirt on you as well, even though they try to. They try to create some lies about you, attraction about that. So that way people, like more people would join up in what it is that they were doing and talk shit about you too. But people saw through the lies and they realized that this person was lying about you. Um, you guys have just been working on trying to stay, stay like grounded. Okay, they want me to put this in the upright and they're saying that they're going to be dealing with the financial loss or they're going to be having to like file for bankruptcy because they're about to lose money or a home or both. This person is jealous of you too because like you're happy. Even if you have like very little, like you're someone who still knows how to be happy about what it is that you have. And it's like this person does not like that. So if they did, I am seeing that they could have actually at some point try to create poverty for you but like i said it didn't really work or it didn't last too long and you were able to like work your way through it because i see that you were transmuting the energy and clearing the energy out and stuff like that and working on yourself and working on whatever this career was um you're just really focused on your stability and rebuilding your foundation and it's like they're mad because even if you had like very little as you were building up you were still able to be happy and it's like they don't like this their travel to you is blocked as well so if they're trying to think about like traveling to you or visiting you like that's blocked they could be dealing with some legal issues right now as well they have a bad reputation too like people know what kind of person they are some of you guys have thought about taking them to court because of a lot of the things that they were doing to you growing up but you thought you didn't have enough evidence to actually prove their abuse Yeah, because they like to always put on a front in front of everyone and be fake. This person could still be trying to be fake with you, even though you could tell that behind those eyes is <laughs> some unmatched hatred. And this person has a bruised ego. Their, their ego is so hurt. So hurt. They can't move on from this. Like, their ego won't allow them to move on. They're, like, in their head... They know they can't use the same tactics that they did before to try to cock block you. They can't even sit there and intimidate you, but also they can't kiss your ass because you see right through it, but they're still trying to compete with you. And for some reason they expect you to give them money or they've been giving you money, but it's only so that way they can be able to get you to trust them. Because like I said, they've been using money against you your entire life. Um, they're wolf in sheep's clothing though. Oh my God. So I'm gonna ask this, what is the outcome of this whole situation? What's the outcome? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? One of the things is you guys are gonna be embarking on that new, on your own, like, okay, Basically, Spirit's saying, like, continue focusing on your passion. Continue taking action towards it. Like, this is something that you really love and have a passion for. Keep keeping energy into it. Keep also pouring into yourself and loving yourself. Because, like, this is what's helping you to be able to move away from this whole situation. Like, it's helping to make space for your the things that you want to enter to enter your life. And just know, like, even if you're at the beginning stages of this, like, it's okay that it's like that. But also, you're getting a lot of ideas and, you know, whatever this is, like, it's something that, like, it may be new, but you love it so much. You have a huge love for it. Some of you guys are also scared of... Oh, I see. Yeah, this person that was in their ego. Okay, what about what about this? I know one thing they're being exposed for is them being emotionally immature because they couldn't let go. They had to control things. Um, yeah. They were very possessive and it's like they had to make things happen their way. This person's very narcissistic. They wanted you to be... see hold on okay so um you guys are probably gonna be coming into like either you're staying with that person that i mentioned before or you're about to come into union with this new person you're gonna be able to like that tie between you and this person like that chain it's being cut 
and this person's gonna be in despair. They're gonna be crying because they don't have access to you anymore, even though they already don't have access. And it's like, they're gonna kind of just drive themselves crazy. Like I'm saying that they're gonna spin themselves out and they will not be able, there will not be a pathway forward for them to be able to come towards you, especially because this person does not truly actually love you. It's just, they want control. Um, their intentions are also like hidden as well. Like they have ulterior motives and um, these things are being illuminated and they can't wear a mask with you anymore. And this person, it's like, they wanna be impulsive, but they're not gonna be able to come forward towards you. Like I said, they can't take action. Like it's being blocked. And this person's like getting restless. Like they're getting restless and they're mad that like you have them blocked and that they can't communicate with you. And it's like, they're paranoid. They're anxious about the fact that this karma is coming and they're having sleepless nights and it's because of the fact that like you got away and you're self-sufficient. And also the other outcome is like the fact that like you guys are going to be coming into union with this person. Or like I said, you guys are going to be able to freely be in this connection and not have to deal with this person. Because they won't be able to block you from having wish fulfillment anymore. But that's what their biggest worry is. Yeah, because they refuse to change though. Because they ch kept choosing to focus on it. Hold on. So since they kept choosing to focus on this, what's going to happen to them? What's going to happen to them? They're going to have to watch you leave. And like your loving, healing energy. Because you used to get this person a lot of love. But they treat you like crap. And so you kept thinking that if you would just love them more, or kept giving them love or nurtured them, and it's like you had to always take care of their emotions and stuff like that, it would make them change or feel love. But it's like they're incapable of loving you because they're incapable of loving themselves. And it's like they couldn't handle your love. It's like almost like they hated you for it, but they're also really envious of you as well. Um, this story of feminine wanted to be just like you, um, like I mentioned earlier. And... Yeah, they're just, they're sad, but they don't have control. They have to watch you walk away, though. You're not giving your energy to them anymore. And, like, they're not handling it well. I don't know how else to put it in the words. It's just, I feel someone raging, like, just going completely, like, mentally insane. They could have a psychotic break. Yeah, they won't be able to have control over you and your emotions anymore because also like you guys are taking the lead of your own life. You're allowing yourself to be seen. You're allowing yourself to shine. You have more confidence in yourself. They can't break you down anymore. And also they could try to sit there and bring an apology to you, but you don't trust anything that they have to say. But also whoever this person is that you're either with or you're about to be with, this is definitely gonna be someone who's stable. Stable, responsible, nurturer you know someone who also you know the, the relationship will move really slowly but you know there's someone who's very methodical and they think a lot about your feelings this is this is someone who's very grounded Ew, man i don't want to get into this person's energy you know i'm feeling it from this with this queen of swords but uh, they're gonna be dealing with a lot of conflict and everything too and a lot of the lies that they've been talking that they've been saying about you and how you've been causing issues like people are going to know about that as well um that's like the spiritual throne i saw earlier yeah but they won't be able to have control over you guys anymore they can't be able they can't pro, they can't project their traditional values onto you and there's not going to be another opportunity to be around you. This person avoids self-reflection. This person is just, ugh. Okay, anything else, spirit? I'm trying to get out of this energy, but I'm trying to make sure I get y'all all the information. But oh my God, this person's energy is disgusting. Like something you'll feel with people who are narcissistic is like, they talk a lot of crap and you'll feel it and pick up on it. But it's also a thing too, where it's like you could feel the self-hatred and the self-loathing. But it's like, they're so envious of you and there's a lot of anger and hatred but it's like displaced because they're thinking that it has to do with you and so they use you as a scapegoat even though it's just their own, own unhealed issues yeah this person is going through judgment because they didn't listen to their intuition when it came to this they didn't see things clearly 
um, their lies, like I said, they're being exposed and <laughs> they might end up uh, dealing with people who are going to be closed off from them. Just a lot of people who are just honestly going to be tired of dealing with their shit. Like they're not going to be interested in like even, I'm seeing like three of pentacles in my Biden's eye. Like they're not going to be interested in collaborating or working with them anymore. Yeah, because people are going to know their true intentions. They're going to see them for the impulsive person that they, that they are and how like they're just very manipulative is what I'm hearing. And <sighs> this person is also very impatient too, but it's just a lot of their bad qualities, they're, they're, they're going to expose. People are going to see it. That's pretty much what it is that I'm picking up on from this. So yeah. Exposure is what's happening. Y'all get to move on. Y'all get to be able to be happy. Um, continue on the pathway that you're on. Continue listening to your intuition. Continue taking action too. You are making much more change than you think you are. And this person is so bothered by this, but it doesn't matter what it is that they think and what they want for your life. What matters is what makes you happy and what's best for you. So, you know, if you have those thoughts still coming through from the things that they tell you, don't restrict yourself or be rigid in your movements just because the fact that you're worried about this person's gonna like this person judging you like they're not in your life anymore you're meant to live the, your life the way that you want to and you don't have to feel guilty or shame for that okay just because they made you feel that way but this concludes this reading if this resonates with you feel free to like the video and um hit that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever i post a new reading and thank you guys so much for likes the shares the comments and subscribes and if you want to see more readings like this from me or just readings from me in general then feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you would like to be able to book a personal reading or a Reiki healing session, the information about that is in the description box. And if you'd like to book a session with me, feel free to email me. You can either choose the pre-selected readings that are already available on there, or you can be able to send me a customized reading, like questions that's on, that's for your reading. I'm having a hard time talking. Jeez. And then uh, I can let you know if I'll be able to provide that service for you or not. But until then, I hope you guys have a good one and peace, you guys.